Hi everybody, it's Webflow Joe with an effin' sweet Webflow hack. In this hack, we look at the incredibly useful function of updating the year in your site automatically with JavaScript. We're going to put whatever date we want in designer. We're going to write some custom code and on a published site, it will always show the current year. Let's see how it works. We're in the live example and we're going to see the current year inside the footer. Look at this copyright 2019. And when we go into designer, you're going to see that it will say 2015, but with our JavaScript and wrapping this piece of text in a span, we are displaying the current year of 2019. In designer, we see the year 2015. Look at this. We've written 2015. We've wrapped it in a span and then on the live site, it updates to 2019. So what are we doing here? This is a text block, totally normal, no class. And all we're doing is going to wrap the year inside a span. If you don't know how to do that, here's how you do it. 2015, I'm going to highlight it and I'm going to click this little paintbrush icon. And here, when I click this, it's now turned into a text span. And here in our original span, we are giving it the class hack 14 year. This is so we can identify this element in JavaScript within page settings. Let's break down this code line by line. Inside our head tag, we're going to insert our script. Why the head tag? It's because we need this function to run as soon as possible. If we put it before the closing body tag and we are loading a lot of content on the page, it's possible that we see a quick flicker of the date that's in designer and the current date. We don't want it to flicker. We want it to be there as soon as possible. And that's why we're inside the head. And since we're inside the head, we can't use jQuery. This is all JavaScript because jQuery is initialized towards the end of the body. Okay, when the DOM is ready, we are going to get the span element. We are going to take this hack 14 year class that we gave the span that wraps the year and we're going to store it as a variable called year span. And we are also going to create an important variable called current year. And that is going to be new date, get full year. Lucky for us, this is already something that exists inside JavaScript. So we don't have to write anything for this. We are simply getting the full year and we're storing it as a variable called current year. Now we have our two important variables. Let's make it show up on the page. We are going to take our year span and we are going to update its text content with current year. Easy. So we are taking that span and we're going to update it with the get full year. Thank you so much for checking out this hack. Please clone the project. We have the entire hacks project available for clone. Start learning how these hacks work and use them on your live site. We're always releasing new hacks. So if you want to be updated, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you want a super simple plain text email, when we release a new hack, sign up at finsuite.com slash hacks dash updates. If you want to request a hack, we'll check it out and see if it's possible in Webflow. Go to finsuite.com slash hacks dash request. That's effing sweet.